everyone this is your boy Kevin back again with another video today I got another phone from Wish that we're going to review today so in front of me I got the S20 mini yes it's the mini version of the S20 uh, Pro we did the review on the S20 Pro that was garbage now we got the S20 mini so the cost of this phone is around forty dollars I mean Canada cost me around forty dollars to get it here but this phone could be more expensive or cheaper the country that you're at what we're going to do today we're gonna unbox this, we're gonna go through it, we're gonna see how's the camera, how's the performance on the phone, can you, can you even browse online on this phone, can you download anything on this phone, can you play games on it, I'm gonna go through the whole thing, then I'm actually gonna take this phone out and I'm gonna go use it for a whole day and we're gonna see how does it perform whole day. So before we start this video guys, don't forget to press the subscribe button, press the bell for new video notification, so every time I make a new video, it reminds you guys, and please give this video a thumbs up. So let's so, start this, this is the box they give me, and it says 64 gigabyte and it says S20 mini on the corner right there and it says made in China let's see the box is black whoops that's on the side put this away put this away they actually give you a silicone case you guys can see this very cheap silicone case like I mean cheap only paying 40 bucks for the phone though you can't expect too much you get the uh, wall plug, you get cables, oh, you get headphones, wow, and they're pretty cheap. And what the hell is this? Let's see what this is. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this, guys. This is uh, your SIM tray uh, sizes. So if you got a big SIM tray, you can fit a big one. You got a small SIM tray, you can plug in any of these, it'll fit on this phone. Pretty damn cool to put this in. Now let's go through the phone. I forgot to tell you guys, this phone comes in three colors. It comes in blue, this color red, and black. And this one is kind of like candy apple from the top, and it gets to uh, pinkish. Very nice color. And if you in the sun, it would change colors. Very beautiful color, like amazing color. And you got uh, one, two, three, three cameras. Only one is real. This one is real. The rest are fake. You get headphone jack. It looks like you have two speakers, but it's not only one speaker, and you got your mic right there. The battery, the battery's in the back, guys. And this is your SIM tray, and this is your uh, SD card. Nothing else. Overall, very small, very nice to hold, very light, very, like, I mean, it's really light. Doesn't even feel you're holding anything. Grip's pretty good. So now, let's go through all the specs, go through all the settings, and let's see how this phone performs. Let's go check Okay it. guys, I set up the phone, it's ready to go now. Now let's go through all the specs. So pretty much for the specs, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys what they're advertising online, and what they're selling you. So this is the advertise online. So it says, newest S20 mini, 4K, Android 9, system. 3,800 milliamp battery, four gigabytes, 64 gigabytes, five inch display, HD 1440, 34 full screen ultra thin that is bs 4g 5g network 13 mp front 24 mp back that is bs again and it's got face unlock and fingerprint and that is bs again it does not have face unlock only has fingerprint so that's what they're selling you online what i'm going to do now we're going to do a whole system check and we're going to see all the specs is real or fake system so check. let's do it we're going to do this phone checker so this is the real specs guys S20 mini right there. Resolution is 480 times 854. So that is BS right there. Hardware is MTK6572. Total memory is 18 gigabytes. Rear camera is 6. MP only so that's a lie again front camera is only 2 MP so that's BS right there and it says it can record 19 20 10 80 so that's pretty much for the specs guys now we're gonna try the fingerprint unlock so I set it up with this finger 
but that's open. See if it's fake or real. Try this finger. So the fingerprint is fake. And the face unlock, I tried to set up the face unlock. The face unlock does not work. Now let's weigh this phone. See how much is it weigh? It's pretty light phone, so it shouldn't weigh that much. 135 grams. Let's put the case. See how does it look with the case on? That's how it looks with the case on. It does protect it overlaps around it you guys can see it does have a lot of lag but the only thing I like about this phone when you're uh, touching like opening the app is very smooth like as soon as I touch it opens up pretty quick that's the only good thing I like about this and this phone comes with uh, Google Play so you do get Google Play and the actual apps that come in this is uh, backup calculator calendar clock download google fm am radio uh, file manager google music google play search sim sound record face unlock does not work i tried it already it does not work and you got your uh, flashlight video life facebook map and uh, voice search uh, wechat whatsapp app youtube and that's pretty much it for the apps so now let's you got your uh, owner, you got your battery, settings, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, location on and off, airplane mode, data connection, data usage, audio profile, brightness, and screenshot. That's pretty much it for that. Now let's go to main setting. This phone doesn't have much for me to uh, show you guys. You got your Wi-Fi, you got your Bluetooth, you got your data usage for more, VPM and etc. Go back. You got your audio profile. General, silent, meeting, outdoor. Let's go to volume. That's max. You can hardly hear anything. You got display. You got your wallpapers. You got live video wallpapers. These are the stock ones they give you. Set that one up. You got your uh, display. Brightness, let's go here. That's the max bright. Leave it here because the battery dies really quick in this phone. You got your smart awake. You got your storage. You got your battery. You got your apps, location, security, languages, backup and reset. Google, Google account, time and date, schedule power on and off, about phone. And that's pretty much it. So this phone comes in uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 of RAM. It's running on Android 9. And that's pretty much it for that. I want to mention something, guys. I was trying to uh, download a game. So I couldn't download any game. It would not let me. I don't know why. So I cannot do a gaming test on this. And I couldn't download uh, Google uh, Google Photos. So I couldn't save the photos. And this phone takes pretty guys, bad pictures. Now, let's go check out the video quality. See if this phone can actually play videos or not. And it's lagging out right now, guys. See that? Now it lagged up. It stopped. So, you can hear the voice, but you cannot watch the video. That's how bad it is. So, you cannot watch any videos on this phone. And I'm running a 5G network on this, so I got really good internet. Okay, so, now let's check out the camera. It doesn't have much for me to show you guys. Like, I mean, absolutely nothing for me to show you guys. So pretty much you get your camera, you get your video, and that's it. And for settings, let's go to camera. Quality is high, medium, fine. Let's leave it at high. That's pretty much it. Like, absolutely nothing. Switch to face beauty, and you can turn it up, turn it down for the face beauty, but I'm telling you it's not going to do anything. This phone, it is garbage. I tried to take some pictures and save them so I can show you guys, but I couldn't. So I'm just going to show you guys through the phone. This actual picture, look how bad that looks. Like, I mean, it's bad. That's another picture. That's another picture. So bad. And that's a video I took. You see the video quality? See, it's lagging out.
it just lags out so for picture and video on this phone it, you cannot take pictures you cannot take videos it is bad it is not the s20 mini from wish i'm gonna go out now i'm gonna use it all day i'm gonna see how does it perform how's the camera on it how's the battery is it gonna last long time or not i'm gonna take some pictures gonna go through the whole thing see if he actually heats up or not so far i took some pictures it was garbage and it's got lots of lag but the only thing good about it right now the screen is very smooth so let's go check it out and i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna let you guys know so i'll see you guys in a minute i'm using it now for almost three hours the battery is almost about to die it hasn't heat up in the back performance really bad and really bad reception like i mean really bad reception okay guys my opinion about this phone so pretty much i don't even have to give my opinion you guys already seen what i was talking about the phone is garbage this phone can only only be used for uh doing phone calls and even for that you're gonna have such a bad reception like i used it outside like some of the phone calls i couldn't even hear the person on the other side so for reception this phone is even bad for watching videos you cannot it will lag on you Camera, absolutely don't even take pictures because you're not gonna see nothing in the picture. You cannot download games, you cannot save pictures, you cannot even download anything from the Play Store. That's how bad this phone is. So overall, for the money, I'd rather keep my money than buying this phone. So I'm not gonna recommend this phone. Please, please don't buy this phone because you're gonna just throw it away. So pretty much it, that's for today's video, guys. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, press the bell for new video not notifications. Every time I make a new, new video, it reminds you guys. And please give this video a thumbs up. So I'm going to catch you guys on my next video. So peace out for now.